In this video, we consider why it's important to use the checkerboard player background when editing videos in Final Cut Pro 10. And it's not just because we want to play games. Okay, moving on. So recently, as most of you folks know, I started composing my videos in Final Cut Pro 10 in a 2 to 1 aspect ratio. So for 4K, that means 3840 by 1920 instead of 3840 by 2160, which is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. But since I still shoot all of my videos in 16 by 9 aspect ratio 4K, that means that I have to deal with black bars or black pillar boxes on the sides of my video when I import. And you can clearly see the black pillar boxes on each side of the viewer for this particular video. Now, to make this fit inside the two to one aspect ratio, you have two options. Number one, you could just zoom in, or number two, you can use the spatial conform option and then set that view type to fill. And that will automatically zoom in and will crop out the top and bottom portions of the video. Now that may seem like a bad thing on paper, but it's actually pretty cool because it gives you added creativity options in post. And here's what I mean. You can reframe your shot on the Y axis. So you can move up and down on the Y axis so that you can display exactly what you want the viewer to see right there in the frame like that. Now here's a caution. When you're adjusting the Y axis on the fly, it's very possible that you can go past the actual video and introduce an unwanted border in that video by adjusting too far. So let me illustrate what I mean. I'm just going to export this video here or export a frame from this video, a still frame. And then we're going to be able to see how I inadvertently went too far down on the Y axis, introducing that border. So I've exported that still frame. And once it loads, we're going to just open it up. So let's click show here and let's preview that. So you can see at the top, you see that little white line that is the border that we inadvertently introduced because we adjusted too far on the Y axis too far down. Let me open it up fully in preview and you'll be able to see it a little bit better. Now you see that little white line uh, that shouldn't be there but it can easily happen because the black player background blends in with the rest of the Final Cut Pro 10 UI and you don't even realize you move the video too far. Okay, that all makes sense, but where does the checkerboard come into play? So as I mentioned, this whole issue stems from the fact that we're using a black player background and it's blending in right here with this portion of the Final Cut Pro 10 UI, which is already dark, right? So it's hard to recognize when you've moved that video too far. The good news is that there's a very easy way to prevent this from happening. If you go to Final Cut Pro's preferences under the player tab, you'll see player background. Now by default, it's set to black, but there's other options inside. You can set it to white, uh, so you can see immediately that white line sticks out. But even better is the checkerboard option because that's going to cover you fully. It doesn't matter what you place on the timeline. You're going to be able to immediately tell whether you have light content or dark content. It's not going to blend in uh, with the player background because of that checkerboard. So even if you just have a little sliver there, watch how I adjust this here. So even if you just have a little sliver, you can tell that there's there. it's moved too far down, right? Uh, you can tell there even with that just that little bitty sliver. So that is super handy to have that checkerboard player background. It's one of the reasons why I always recommend enabling that before you begin editing in Final Cut Pro 10. So ladies and gentlemen, that is an illustration as to why it's important to use the checkerboard player background when editing videos in Final Cut Pro 10. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, please leave them down below in the comment section. And also if you have any special requests, anything you would like me to cover, also leave those down below as well. Until then folks, I'll see you next time on another episode of Final Cut Friday.